Once again, it's your boy. You're in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen, and today we're going to do a, a clam chowder. Oh, man, so delicious. Once again, guys, you are in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen, and today I'm doing clam chowder. You know, the weather's changing. It's getting kind of breezy out, and uh, some soups and chowders. Hey, it'd be perfect. Let's bring this in here closer. Right now, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using the Dutch oven. I'm, uh, I chopped up some bacon. We're gonna let the bacon saute. We're gonna use that as the crisp, as the bacon for the soup. And there's a little grind. I cut them in half, cut them in pieces so they can cook evenly and, and quicker. It's on medium, medium to high heat to move this out the way. It will come on in closer. And I'm sauteing, sauteing the bacon so you guys can see how, how the bacon is being sauteed. And while that's being sauteed, I'll show you guys Show you guys the ingredients for my clam chowder. Uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna start. We're gonna marinate it. Once I get this out, the bacon out, and let it and let the dripping get on here. Let it drain. But I'm gonna keep the, keep the bacon juice and all that. I mean the bacon grease and all that. Okay. I cut up some saute. I cut up some onions, some cucumbers. We're gonna saute that. I got my potatoes. Dice. That's gonna go in once I do that. I got my clams. Uh, you can get I I I I get the canned clams. I mean they're they're just as good, you know. And you can uh, of course if you want to get fresh clams, you can do that too. Uh, but like I said, this is all about simple, easy, and delicious and quick. Okay. So I got my garlic. I got my clams, I got the clam juice with the clams. I got my chicken broth. I put a little Worcestershire sauce to, to give it a different kind of flavor. And then I do maybe a tab, just a tab of uh, hot sauce. And then I do a little thyme and oregano just to season it up. And then I got my bay leaves. But like I say, the recipe will be at the bottom of the description as always. So we got this, we're gonna let this cook. Like I said, we cut it up in pieces, let it cook evenly. Then I'm gonna saute, I'm gonna saute my vegetables. Then I'm gonna make a broth. Don't forget the heavy cream. And if you don't like the heavy cream, if you want something a little lighter, you can do half and half. But I, I, I like the heavy cream because it, it, it brings a good broth, a good thickness to it. Thank you guys as always for checking it out, checking my channel out, liking and subscribing. Thank you as always for the requests and the comments. And guys, I get back comments as quick as I can. And if you have any good requests, just let me know. Okay. So we're gonna let this bacon, we're gonna let this bacon cook a little more. closer okay we got the bacon got the bacon cooked crisp we're gonna drink we're gonna set that aside I got the recipe at the bottom of the description I, I do a little portions of it but the recipe will show you all of it and okay and now we're gonna saute we're gonna saute the onion and the celery for about five minutes for about five minutes. Got my paddle here. Oh yeah. And as you notice, I kept I kept the uh, bacon grease in here because that's gonna be not only just the flavor, but that's what's gonna be the foundation to start sauteing your vegetables and stuff. 
Now, like I said, we're going to do this for about five minutes. I'm going to add my flour. I'm going to add my flour with that. And let this go for about five minutes. Bring this in closer to you guys. Okay, while we got while we got this sauteed, nice and tender and sauteing, I'm gonna add a little flour to it. Like I said, you'll see the description, you'll see the recipe at the bottom of the description. I'm gonna add a little flour to it. I'm gonna cook that off for a while. Let that let that brown and get that raw flour taste out. And you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna stir this up until, and let it cook for about five minutes with this flour. See, I'm not, we're not going to put the clams in until at the end, so I'm going to make the broth. I'm gonna, the next step is we're going to add the broth to it. We're going to add the broth to it, a little Worcestershire sauce, a little clam juice, a little heavy cream, and let that cook a while. Okay, add a little thyme. Real simple and quick too. And the oregano, just a little dab of that. A little Worcestershire sauce. Oh yeah, man, if you can smell it. Then we're gonna add some of this chicken broth. And we're gonna let that cook for a couple of minutes before we add anything else to it. I got it on medium, medium to high heat. You're gonna let this cook. Oh yeah. Bring this in closer. Okay, while this is while we got this steam, we got the flour, we put the chicken broth in the seasoning. I'm gonna add a dab of just a little dab of hot sauce. Just a little. And throw our bay leaves in. Throw, throw two bay leaves in. Put my clam juice in with that. And I, I, I get, you can use, I use the, 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 the juice that's in the can, but I try to use that as a reserve. I like to get the all natural clam juice, where it's just straight clam juice. And it's all natural. And I'll, I'll probably add a little more in it as we go. Okay, so I got all the seasoning in. I got I got this cooking, thickening up. As always. I'm going to throw my... Let's do this here. Let's bring this in closer so you guys can... Okay, bring this in closer for you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna add, like I said, I dice, I dice some potatoes. So I'm gonna add my potatoes in here with this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Put this out 
the way. And guys, uh, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's it's real simple. I mean, it's 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 a lot of different. It's a lot of ingredients to it, but uh, it's it's real easy and simple. And we'll bring this back down so you guys can see the pot. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, we're gonna let this cook for a minute. Let these potatoes cook. I'm gonna put my heavy cream. And like I said, we're not gonna we're not gonna add the clam to the end after everything cooked. Now once I once I add the heavy cream, I got the fire on medium to high heat, and once I add it, I'm gonna put a little more oregano and thyme in here. And I got I got a I I, I use something else. I use cilantro, but I'll show you guys at the end. Some fresh cut cilantro. Oh, it makes that just takes it to the next to the next level to me. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna add a little heavy cream with this. And we're gonna let this we're gonna let this cook. It's gonna cook for about twenty to twenty five minutes. So the potatoes get, get thick. I mean get cooked and the the broth thickens up, the chowder thickens up. Okay. We're gonna move this over, we're gonna put the lid here. And guys, you'll see how easy and delicious this is. Bring this in. And once and once we're gonna open this up. And once once it starts boiling, and once you see it boiling, then we're gonna put the lid on, we're gonna simmer it. So like I said, about 25 minutes, we're gonna let that so the potatoes can cook and get tender. Then we'll put our clams in, and then I'll throw some cilantro in, I'll show you guys. Man, it's delicious and real simple. Thank you guys as always. You guys are awesome. I just wanna thank you guys. Let's bring this in, it's 25 minutes. Let's bring this in closer. Okay guys, about 10 minutes in, I just wanna show you guys uh, why you got it covered up and you got it cooking. I just want to show you guys, you, you want to, you know, see how nice it's boiling, it's on simmer. You, you want to stir it up a little bit just to make sure nothing is cooking at the bottom and it's cooking evenly. And right now, man, if you guys can smell this, man, whoa. And uh, man, uh, another 20 minutes. Potatoes would be nice and tender. The sauce, let's see, you know, taste it every now and then, see if you can get any of it. Oh yeah, that's what you want. You got, you got the, the flavor you want. All you gotta do now is sit back and, and, and watch it and watch it cook. And then after that, once it once it cook, I'm gonna uh, my 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 secret my secret is I love to put the, I'm putting cilantro. I was at this restaurant and uh, in Chicago and, and I'm I'm putting uh parsley, I mean not parsley, cilantro, chopped up cilantro inside with the bacon, let that cook a little bit, then I'm going to garnish it with cilantro and bacon, and man, it's delicious. Let's bring this back down, guys, and, and, and stir it up one more time, nice and simmer, you see the thickness, this is the thickness you want, because you're going to put the clams in maybe five minutes before the meal is done. Really a couple of minutes. You just want you just want to heat up. We'll take the bay leaves out a little later. But right now that's that's perfect. That's the broth you want. You see the broth? And that's the broth you want right there. It's the longer it cooks, the thicker it gets, which is good. And if it gets a little too thick, if it gets a little too thick, you can add a little more clam juice. And that's why we got to reserve that juice that was in the can. And you can you can uh, loosen it up with that if it gets too thick. I like a nice thick broth, but if it gets too thick, you can always lighten it back up. Okay, guys, uh, it's been 25 minutes. Let's check on this. The potatoes should be nice and tender. The 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 broth should be oh yes yes. And see that's what you want. You you want that thickness. I'm gonna take this these bay leaves out. Oh yeah. Check on these potatoes.
potatoes. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Nice and tender. Okay. So like I said, we're gonna add our clams in now. We put the clams in. this on, on low and we're just gonna let that simmer now my 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 secret here guys is I like I like to uh, put a little cilantro we're gonna stir that up and plus I'm gonna garnish with a little cilantro and that, man that's I mean that gives you that gives it a whole different Oh man, that's, that, that's delicious. That gives you a whole different taste on it, a whole different perspective. Add a little more, because you can't go wrong with cilantro. I'm gonna stir this up. Oh man, if you could smell that. Put some bacon bits in here with that. Stir that up. Get this last bay leaf out. Oh yeah. Guys, I'm telling you. This smells delicious. And it smells delicious. Let's, let's do a little more cilantro. You, you can't go wrong with cilantro. I mean, try it guys. If you've never done it with your clam chowder, try it. delicious give me a spoon because I want to try this because it smell it smells too good it smells too good not to okay I'm gonna cut this off See the thickness. You guys see the thickness. Like I said, the more the more you cook it, the thicker it gets. That's why you reserve the res you you save the reserved clam juice out the can in case you want to thicken it. I added a little bit with that. Oh yeah. See that broth? That's 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 the consistency you see. You see the the crab. I mean the clams. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. What's the old saying say? Make you want to slap your. Don't say it. She's watching. My mama watching. Man, this is delicious. Let's sprinkle this with some bacon. Oh, this is delicious, guys. This really is. Awesome. As always, 
You guys are in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen. And today, this is my clam chowder. Easy to make and simple. And oh so good. Until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen.